What's up everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and welcome back to another live stream. And today's live stream, we are once again going to be playing some more Fortnite Save the World. And we gotta rescue Carlos. So bring Carlos back from the other side, stabilize the rift. Through the rift mission is what we're doing here today. We gotta complete the stabilization, uh stabilization of the rift mission and a 64 plus zone. We get Epic Flusk and we get Carlos back. So this is going to be very interesting. I do not know personally how this is going to end up playing out. I don't know what they're expecting for this mission from us because all they just, you know, say is just kind of like just stabilize the rift. Uh, here's hoping that will be an easy mission. Ooh, we got Skullker for Jonesy. That was kind of cool. Okay, we're a little bit short on these. Uh, anything else I can buy? I don't think there's any schematics that I need to upgrade to uh, Epic, do I? There is some I need to get the blue. I don't know if there's such thing as rare flusk. Is there? I think there is. Isn't there? Yeah, I have a crap ton of rare flusk. So I could upgrade all of these to blues. Hold on. Never thought about doing that. Hold on. Uh, this I would need to upgrade to green. Oh, it just skips to it. Okay. There we go. Then we got ceiling zapper. I didn't realize that I could literally just upgrade all these with rare flusk. That's sweet. Uh, hi, Sens, uh, TZ. I'm doing good, and I'm having a really great day, but, uh, we, we don't do, uh, spam around here, man. So, uh, I'll, I'll just let you know that that's fine that you did just the once, but, uh, please do not do it again. Uh, we just don't like the, the spam here, but, uh, I am having a good day, and hopefully you're having a good one too, man. Alright, chat, so let's see. Let's go to Epic Flusk. Let's buy this, actually, while we can. Have been taking really advantage of this. Yeah, but you can feel free to let me know how your day's doing, man. Feel free to let me know if you're enjoying some Fortnite Save the World, and hopefully you might stick around. Be able to have a really fun day here today. Okay, what should I upgrade first? What does this actually take to make these? The spike traps actually don't require crystals. That's actually good. In fact, the, the wooden one here is probably the best. Oof. We're going to upgrade this. This is going to be the, the spike that we'll, we'll upgrade. That will probably be the best for us. And then we'll actually do this too as well. Actually, wait. What was the... We know this is Epic Flusk, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, we need more, like, floor traps. So we definitely want to upgrade these. Rate, increase rarity. Oh, I don't have any more. Alright, well, at least these will be fine to guess by for now. Uh, what about legendary? Is legendary back in the shop yet, or? No, it's not. We'll get there soon, though, chat. We definitely will. Um, I don't think there's really any thing we could use in here. I like this. Uh, candy corn LMG. This is fun. I'm thinking about skipping the Raven for now. We're actually going to buy this. This thing is actually legitimately like very strong and I enjoy it. Alright, chat. So all that's left really is to upgrade our survivors and then we should be said we were going to rescue Carlos. So I have 33. I believe it's just this last row on the very end. Let's see. Yeah, I can evolve you. 
So I got two more guys left. Okay. Let me turn autofill on. All squats will be cleared and refilled with your highest rarity survivors confirmed. Interesting. Somehow a green got into one of the spots. And then this guy actually got replaced. What the hell? Okay. Well, that means I can probably afford to cycle some of them in and out. Where'd the one other mythic guy go? I have four mythics, and it looks like that they made them leaders, maybe? Hold on, chat. We're just going to take a look and see how this is going. Where'd he go? And that, that looked like it expanded all of a sudden. So they got regrouped, yeah, so now I have a mythic in every spot, so I had that one go to use. Okay. Okay, all these are good, really, except for resistance. Okay, let's go to survivors, and we are going to delete the ones we do not need anymore. Get all of these guys to get out of here. So we'll end up getting 123 drops of rain back. And then we can actually use this on our mythics. So now if we go over to this guy. I can upgrade him to the maximum potential. Yeah, now he's 107, uh, the 74, like, my god. I know the one green guy needs to go up. He only goes up to 88, though. Uh. Okay, so a little bit of redoing is going to be in order, but that should be, for the most part, our thing. We got level 59. I will take a look at these later, probably actually off stream. So in the meantime, chat, that should be good for now. Okay, and then we'll save the drops of rain for our traps. So I think we should be good. So here is going to be the mission. So, through the rift. Bring Carlos back from the other side. Stabilize the rift. Okay, let's do this. And we'll also get Epic Flusk, so this will be really, really good for us. Only took us about 10 minutes to get that all set up, which is fine. That way we got it over with and out of the way. And I, and I did point out to the fact that in chat that we are going to go live, so... In fact, I'll even put out on my Snapchat. This is a private Snapchat, but I'll let everyone know I'm live. Twitch. I very rarely actually even use my Snapchat legitimately. Okay. Yes, even these ones are the highest they can be. In fact, in fact, I think, hold on, is this max? I think the only thing that's max is these three. But no, I added like two more levels for that one left. Hmm. Looks like we're also not really getting anybody to help us out, but that's fine. I guess we'll just do the mission by ourselves. 
So here it goes, ladies and gentlemen. Stabilize the rift. Locate a wild rift. It could be anywhere. Deploy a stabilizer. This might hurt a little. Protect the lasers. Lasers power the stabilizers. Alright, so it's that giant... So yeah, the, the big purple one is also indeed a rift. Alright, Carlos, let's save him. Very motivational, Desiree and Ray. Alright, there it is. There it is. We have to clear out all husks before starting. So they what are they gonna keep spawning or Here hold on, let's just place the bear. Those was even like some epic looking husks. You gonna die or? Hey, can't believe I'm suggesting this. Place the rift stabilization device on the rift. Remember, these rifts are mean. They will try to kill you. You will take some damage when you place the rift stabilization device. This may or may not be a sign that this is a terrible idea. All right, let's go for it. The, is that little bit of damage that I had? Is that what she meant? Because that was, really wasn't much. Alright, Carlos. We're bringing you back home, buddy. I wonder if he got uh, eaten by one of these rifts. I'm just curious. Right, let's do this. Another one. I'm assuming we gotta maybe protect all of these. That's probably my guess. Protect it, like, enough before... Uh, the husk will probably try to get it to, like before it can open up the rift, and we'll try to open up the rift and protect us in time for Carlos to get through. Build defenses around the lasers as they power up. I figured. Don't worry about defending the rift device. You only need to protect the lasers. That's what I thought. Okay, so basically, what I'm gonna do then is I'm just going to make as many traps as I can around these to be able to, to watch these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So that's six. Okay, that should be enough. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, th this should be plenty of enough traps. Now remember, we do only have a minute, so Godspeed. I think they're gonna go for that one good. Here they come. The more lasers you have active, the faster we'll get this done. Yeah, I'm gonna need to make sure I place traps everywhere I think I can. Oh, the, uh, the front piece is broke.
Fuck, ah, get off me. Already? Oh, it was this one. Damn it. Ah, shit, we're gonna lose A. Shit! Oh, somebody joined, thank God. Yeah, I'm just using some of the spike trap screw, why not? God damn it. Come on, we're so close. Can I get an ET on the roast video? Hey, Ryan, what's up, man? Uh, roast video, you got about a week. Uh, from today, uh, I will uh, start filming the video in a week. So you'll see in about eight days from today. Okay, this should be done in just a moment. But how are you doing, man? Good to see you. Save it. Good. Carlos, come back, buddy. Let's we'll see if it's gonna do anything cool. Or is that just it? That's that's the mission? Okay. A lot faster than I thought. XP rewards saved. Timed out while waiting for results. Mission rewards have been saved. Okay. Good, I guess. I don't know why that, that all of a sudden happened. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's see if we rescue Carlos. Carlos, you back, buddy? Desiree, everything you were afraid of is true. The Storm King is not alone. He has an army behind him. Our only hope is to strike hard. And with everything we've got. Yo, sorry to interrupt, but I think we should turn off the rip stabilizer. It's off. Oh, uh, someone maybe just turned it back on, and he's probably sorry. Shit, things are not going right for the crew. Claus, it's time to set aside our differences. I think that all this was your fault, and I'll forgive you. Are you blaming the end of the world on me? Dr. Vindman begged us to join the home base project. How was I supposed to know he was right? You were too hung up on yourself to see the plain truth. I thought he was crazy. Did you? Yes. Did you? Still, yes. By bad charter, all grudges and significant disputes can only be resolved by the cards. Around a jefe. When it takes all. Round of Hefe, loser must fall. Do you have your own cards or alright, we'll find cards. So I guess we're gonna be doing this by a card game. Okay, interesting. So L Hefe. Help Carlos and Lars settle the score with the winner take all game of Hefe. Gather cards in sixty four plus ghost town zones. Okay. I have some good ones. The girl on the right of your loading screen is thick. Oh. <laughs> it's funny. I, I don't think Desiree was on the screen. I think you were talking about Ray, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. Ray is thick even though she doesn't have a bottom half. <laughs> yeah, but th this 
grudge that Carlos has had with Lars and just the ban having with Lars in general has been going on for a really fucking long time. Let's sell the score on the behalf of Lars. Come on, because Lars doesn't deserve this. And it looks like we can finally end up doing Ride the Lightning, although it's a four-man. It says Ghost Town anyway, so it's not like we can do that. So we gotta destroy the encampments. Uh, Atlas mission. And retrieve the data. So let's end up doing the Atlas mission. That, that should be pretty easy to do. Yeah, but this score that they've been trying to settle ever since the beginning of Candy Valley is still going. I mean, shit, if we... That's an ugly looking skin when it doesn't load in. But, like, see, like, let's take a look at the chapters, right? Like, let's say each page is a chapter. We're in chapter 12 of 19. We're at, like, past the 75th percent way of the story. It's ridiculous. It's like they they, they they really are blaming Lars and they're just being petty. I mean, I, I bet they're cool dudes, but, like, now that I'm involved in their story, they're just being petty. Like, how come nobody just said, let's bygones be bygones? I thought we already resolved this. I mean, we know what we did with Sid, but now we gotta do it with Carlos. Like, I can one-touch zombies. Like, it's funny. Like, everyone was giving him a hard time, but the one that was hmm? honestly the most lenient about it was Anthony. A Anthony was the, uh, the least bad about it. I uh, wonder if we'll see any new people today, or maybe some new people. Uh, love saying hello. Also, thank you for that shout-out in your roast video, Ryan and Banana Cake. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no problem for that shout-out, man. You're all good. You guys are just as important to the channel as, uh, as I am, so... And as for seeing new people, we, we never know. What's up, man? Is he talking to me or? Oh, thanks. What's he trying to say? I legitimately can't hear him. You playing keyboard and mouse? Yes, I am playing keyboard and mouse. You noticed? <laughs> well, there's a black ninja kid a scammer. How am I a scammer? There's a black ninja kid a scammer. How? <laughs> no, he took my stuff. You dropped it! I didn't give him anything. What the fuck do you mean? I was saying, do you have this, the quartz? And like, he just took it. Yeah, he took the quartz. Do you, what, you gave me? I'm not a fucking scammer, you idiot. No, one, one. <laughs> I'm like, still, why would you take this? Oh, he gave me five back, so. Whatever. Apparently I'm a scammer. If anyone is in your Twitch stream while I'm there, uh, and they don't think about me in 60 years, I'm gonna be sad. Nah, man, don't worry, I'll remind them. You'll be the legacy. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna destroy tables? That has cards on it, though. Yeah, there we go. I think I got one of my dogs. Hello, doggy. Damn. Hey, Joseph. What's up, man? Well, here's hoping I can find a decent amount of cards, because it says 15. So here's hoping that in these zones, I will indeed find them. Wonder what I will be doing in a week from now. Probably <laughs> shitting myself. <laughs> Put the webcam on the dog. Dog cam. Hi, Tina. 
You want to be on live stream? Hey. Hey, come here, sweetie. Nah, hold on. I'm going to kill these guys. Hey, come here, come here. Come here, poopy butt. Come in here. Where are you, where are you going? Oh, come here, you. Oh, everyone, you can say hi to Tina. This is my wiener dog, one of two of them. You've seen Turner quite a bit on screen, but this is Tina. She's more shy. Hi, sweetie. Say hi to the camera. Ooh. She has nice puffy pink nipples. <laughs> All right, you can leave now if you want. Oh, you're stuck on my headset. Oh, there you go. Oh, hey, it's Turner. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You also want to be on live stream again? Come here, buddy. Come on. Yeah, you gotta be on the stream too. And this is Turner. This is my male dog. He's he's, he's got nipples too, but they're not as puffy. But he's got a wiener. My wiener's got a wiener. Ooh. All right, go down there, buddy. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> I'm clipping. <laughs> if I got. A nice big black wiener. And another one with ten dangly nipples. Hey, buddy. So where the hell are the cards then? Like, I, I found the one set of cards and then they're just not here anymore. I'm assuming I gotta be in the actual ghost town, maybe? It's probably gotta be in the actual ghost town. Well, this guy's trying to do Seabot beds. <laughs> Alright, chat. I swear to God, there should be more than one. Fuck. Chad, I think that the mission's bugged. I'm going to stir it over again. There shouldn't just be one if it's got 15. <laughs> you guys want on my bed? Hey. You want on my bed? Oh. Come here, teeny. I know. This way you're not alone. Alrighty. Yeah, so we're, we're gonna start El Jefe again, just because I don't like how the fact that we only found one, I, I don't think that that's something that's supposed to happen. We'll do, um, we'll mix things up and we'll do encampments instead. Alright, we got a uh, emo guy, we've got a badass cool chick, and then we've got a nutcracker. Nice. <laughs> Yay, dog. Yeah, you like my dogs? Hey, everyone likes you guys. Yeah, my Twitch chat likes you. Yeah, they do. By the way, Ryan, this is a mini request. I normally would never ask this, but I just thought I would ask because you're such a cool dude. You normally can get a lot of hype going a lot for the uh, the live streams and like the chat and everything. So if you could go in the Discord and, and encourage people to end up joining, that'd be really, really cool. I'd love to end up having the, the, the more the merrier. Looks, it looks more nicer and cleaner when uh, 
you know, everyone promotes the stuff for me too, instead of just uh, me, myself, and I. Rec recommend it from other other viewers. Joseph, I would also appreciate too if you're also just in the chat in general, just let the guys know. You better watch those clips. Yeah, I'll watch them. I, I, I remember what I said. I remember talking about my big black wiener. So we got five of them. The incorrect number of cards. I hate this. That's another card. We are either closer to or further from our goal of whatever. Lars, can you help out here? How many cards do I need? Sorry, little robot. I need to prepare. Sid? While I am an accomplished Hefe player, I really don't understand why. Or how. That doesn't answer the question. Alright, is this the correct amount of cards? No. Am I close? Sorry, little robot. There is no close. There is only Hefe or no S Hefe. The fuck does that even mean? Desiree, do you know how many cards we need for Hefe? Tell me Carlos is setting up the observatory and not having a card fight with Lars. You know in your heart what the truth is. Cool. I'm gonna get back to work, trying to extract the world's most complex AI from an emotionally damaged sea bot. And I'm not gonna think about how much harder my past tenure was than his. While he plays cards. <laughs> So maybe it might be three sets of five. Maybe this might go across this, this set of five missions. Well, actually, then again, though. There's still quite a bit to the map to be solved. Let's go this way. Okay, my parents are going to start shouting. I need to close the door. Suck my big white black Asian cock. Hey, Gogeta. Good to know that you end up having the uh, the uh, ethnicities of every single cock known to mankind. Oh, somebody else got half a cards. That's eight. Two of hearts. You could have left the band at any time. Two of diamonds. Linda Tech wanted us all together. Breaking up the band would have broken up the band. Pat check. Played. The fuck am I watching? Well, I got nine now, actually. You knew Anthony needed help, and you did nothing. Ace of Hearts. Neither did you. And anyway, I didn't know what to do. The hand did draw. Agreed. All right. One down. Let's find the next one. We might actually be able to get all fifteen. Yeah, there might be a chance we get all 15. Okay. Found one. Check out your map. Uh, is it downstairs or? A pair of instruction cards. Yeah, it is. I tried to call you. Business card. Home base needed you. We couldn't risk you abandoning your home. I would never have left home base. Is that so? Not if they needed me. So home base is more important than me. Home base is more important than any of us. My man. Your point. Let me see if you can respect that. Four parts. I've seen the other side. We don't have time for infighting. I see your four of hearts. Look, I screwed up. I'm working to fix it. You take the point. Really? Sure. See that that's when that's being a man. 
Is when yeah, when you realize that even if somebody fucked up royally, they still try to fix it. Maybe I want you to. Fine by me. Who feels? That's a forbidden question. Draw five cards. Draw two cards for referencing a rule. You draw two cards for referencing a rule. Okay, never mind. Fifteen minutes to complete the mission. I was hoping we get them all actually. Two down. Are getting stronger. Make sure you're prepared. I had a good wank. Never mind. Don't watch the clips. Fucking Twitch fucked me over. I was gonna watch them after the stream, man. Wanked last night a bit long ago. <laughs> it was alright. Ninja, you see the roast? I'm actually saving my I legitimately have not looked at them yet. I'll be back. Oh no. Yeah, I I uh, I know that the roasts exist. I just haven't taken a look at them yet. I want you guys to see my uh raw first reactions. Well, it looks like we got 12 out of the 15. That's actually not that bad. So it looks like it's still kind of being spread across two of them. Oh, well. That's fine. That is the one at. Oh, here he is, the big guy. How are they at? You're done, encampment. Okay, the encampment got killed. I don't know if it was because I got these guys or. Found the next one. Check out your map. Oh shit. Yes. My dogs just make weird noises. Alright, I gotta go to the next encampment. I will say this, though. I mean, like, I don't know if technically the missions are always meant to be spread across two. Like, it's, it seems like, here's the thing, is that theoretically it could go more than two if the mission qualifies for it, like, legitimately. Or you just happen to miss some of them, like the ones that don't require it to be all done in one zone. But it seems like on average, even if you did find all of them the whole entire time, it looks like you at very the very least, most of the time, have to do at least two missions. Even though it happened to be a random set of number. Like, not even, but, but like 12 out of 15, that's more close to completion than not. So I was like, maybe thinking to myself, like, hmm, maybe I can get them all done in one zone, but I don't think it's necessarily a certain number. I think it's just in general meant to be spread across two zones. Make the game last longer, you know? I'm just hoping these two will make up already, because I'd, I'd like to believe that we're on good terms with Anthony and Sid. I mean, occasionally they get bitchy, but... <laughs> other than that, I think we're good. I think it's just Carlos. It's because Carlos is the main guy, other than Lars, it seems like. That's, like, the leader of the group. Because I feel like once we get Carlos's trust back, we're good. Apparently, after we're done playing a game of Hefe, which is like Fight Club logic, it looks like. First rule of Fight Club, you don't talk about Fight Club. It's funny, I've never watched that movie, and I really do need to watch that. It's like a cult classic. Yeet. Dab. Yeet. Dab. Yeet. Yeet. Dab, yeet, dab. I need to come up with some more catchphrases. Like, legitimately, like, catchphrases and not just shit I say out of context. Yeah, okay, let's call him the hover buddy. And then a airstrike. Because remember, we need at least one more in order to complete the mission just in general. Biden won and Trump won't leave, lol. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's very true. I'm I'm glad that I'm glad that other people are catching on to that, even from people that are not even necessarily from the United States. Like 
See, the funny thing is, since you're uh, uh, from not the United States, you're kind of like a third party in this case, Gogeta. And, like, if, if, a, if a third party's agreeing, then yeah. Yeah, but basically, Trump's being petty. He's just like, whoa, oh no, he fucking cheated. Just like, just like, Trump, take the loss, dude. Just like, take the L that you were given. Trump won, the, you know, in 2016. But he, he didn't win in 20, 2020 because people had enough of his shit. It's like he wasn't the worst possible person in the world. He could have been a lot worse. But, yeah, we're, we're, we're all over him and he just won't leave. I saw a really funny video. I actually retweeted on Twitter. I don't know if you watched it, Gogeta. But it's, it's these guys that are dressed as Trump and Pence. Uh, and just so you know, Pence is the vice president. But Pence and, and Trump, they're, and they're at a daycare. And Trump's playing at the daycare with all the other kids, like on a bouncy ball. And Biden's like, uh, or sorry, not Biden, uh, Pence is like the dad coming to pick him up. He's like, okay, Mr. President, it's time to leave. And he's just like f throwing a fit and he won't leave. And he's just like, we had a good run, but we gotta go now. And like Trump's fucking crying as a little kid. He's like whining and bitching. It's funny as hell. It's basically throwing a temper tantrum. But the, the funny thing is that they, they look like the, the, the uh, actual Trump and Pence and they recreate it so fucking well. It's like, that's literally how I feel right now. Oh, fuck. I'm, I can't leave. God damn it. I hate it when I literally can't get out of those situations like that. I'm floating just above. I also tried to switch to my sword, but that wouldn't work either. That was that ability. Oh, he did, like, the slowdown ability. You never see that one. I want to know, on average, how many people use certain abilities in Fortnite. I just use Hover Buddy and Airstrike. At the beginning, I used the health boost thing. Which was kind of cool. But, uh, it's not really that needed anymore. I want to work my way up to the, uh, the supply drop. Because I feel like that that could actually be useful. At least every now and again. But, uh, my bread and butter is Airstrike Hover Buddy. Because I honestly can't see the uh, the other abilities being very useful. I've seen Teleporter a couple times. I like the way that Trump's, uh, wait, Trump supporters are saying, I'm leaving the U.S. Well, the Irish don't want them, and the Mexicans don't want them. No one wants them, even the Americans. It's funny, all those people that, like, talk shit and say, like, I'm moving to, like, Canada or Mexico or whatever, blah, 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 because someone's in office, they never do. It's just like, if, if you're not gonna leave, then stop bitching. Like, I'll help them pack. See, it's like, as much as the United States isn't perfect, I still would much rather live here than anywhere else. I wouldn't mind traveling to other parts of the world, but my bread, bread and butter, like, my home is still the United States. Because even though it's still screwed up, it's still better than a lot of other parts of the world. Not going to call any particular one because I don't want to slam any other countries. But the United States is still my home. It just needs improvement like any other place in the world. It's funny, I notice when I get stunned, even though I never took my hand off the clicking button or my mouse, my shooting stops unless I re-click it again. Interesting. Oh, oh, it's inside. That's what's what's happening. So why are they all outside? Where are all the zombies? Are they all going to respawn again, or... Yeah, they are, okay. Oh, get through! That's the time to use my face shift. Like, holy shit.
Come on. Why is this gun all starts start shooting like really fucking fast? Dude, this shotgun over time, this energy shotgun has been so beneficial. Like, I never really used to like it, and I used to like some of the other shotguns, but god damn is this good. I've really started to like this energy shotgun over time, because the fact that it has the wide shot, it basically makes it like the perfect shotgun. Like, with the other shotgun, it will be like a, like a buckshot or whatever, and it will just go down one in straight line. Or, sorry, more like a slug. But, like, this one is just, it just shoots everywhere, so it gets multiple zombies at once. It's so beneficial. <laughs> okay. We're an analogy there, but it's all good. Gogeta, I feel like you'd be really good at making porn titles. <laughs> ah, shit, I'm getting stuck. God damn it. That's another life down. Where the last of these infected. You know, here they are. Alright, come on, infected, respawn. Yeah, the shotgun's the best gun to use in this instance. Get off of me! Get off of me! Oh shit, I fell because the rock broke. Dude, let me out. <laughs> yeah, but see, like, look how nice this shotgun is. Just paves the way. I love these Borderlands and Fortnite and these just like dying light equivalent guns where they're just made out of shit that shouldn't make a gun and they work. It's just so cool. This is kind of why I like futuristic games, just the creativity. Like, sure this isn't realistic by any means, but like, it makes it more fun this way. That's why I've always liked futuristic games actually more to be honest. I'm like the one of the few people that actually likes fi faker fictional games more than real life. I sh we should only need one more bonus. Yeah, one more one more encampment. We'll get this just in time. I will read your your comment here in a second, man. Cuz that was uh, very lengthy and I just saw one trigger word. God, there's so many zombies. Dude, legitimately, I think that I'm gonna need to keep one of these shotguns towards end game, or we need to figure out a way to create them if they do end up breaking. Because I feel like when we get to the point where we're facing the Storm King, I'm gonna need these. Because if, if the Storm King's got like a whole bunch of creatures and zombies like this just surrounding me, I need to plow my way out. Good. Got it. In fact, I actually ran out of shotgun ammo for the very first time because of that. I spend the majority of my day there, so I'd be good at it. Man visits stepsister and gets unexpected surprise. <laughs> she has a dick! <laughs> That's actually... That would be funny as fuck if you were watching that. And, like, nobody knew that. And then he got raped. Okay. Very raped. Okay. But but he didn't complain. Well, that's not rape. That's consent. What? Well, not necessarily. Uh, let me rephrase that. Like, as long as he wasn't uncomfortable with the situation, then hopefully it wasn't rape. Oh. Why'd the little kid have to moan right at that exact time? Yes, that's just I heard that kid moan, yeah. 
Why did he have to moan at that specific time? Of course I'm reading that and then he just goes, ah! Alright, let's see if we can finish this a game of El Jefe. <laughs> let's go back to the uh, Fight the Storm mission. What's Nothing really loot lava wise that I can really get. It's a sign from God. No, it's not a sign from God. I should be the porn title maker. <laughs> See, it's funny. I feel like I feel like that out of like all the things you possibly could do, that would probably be the most beneficial out of all the, the jobs. Because like there's some people that got some fucking shitty jobs, man. Like they're they're weird and they're terrible. Like a lot of people complain about, like, retail work and shit like that, but can you imagine having, like, the weird jobs that a lot of people don't talk about? Like, can you imagine being, like, a dildo maker or something like that, having to make all these weird fucking penis-shaped objects for people? Like, there, there's some shittier jobs that I can think of, and I feel like porn title maker would be, like, a very interesting one. Because, like, I, I feel like you would be, like, compelled to be, like, uberly vulgar. Because, like, a lot of people get off on that. They're like, oh, yeah, fuck yeah. It's just, like... It's like, what the fuck do you... Like, what, what vault did they, they open up in their mind that made them come up with that shit? It, it's, it's like, something that you would think that's non-sexual whatsoever is made sexual. And it's just like, why? It's like the remark when I said Spongebob would be the perfect porn star because he has so many holes. It's like, that ruined Spongebob for me. Hi. Hi. Sorry, guys. I'm talking to my wiener. Hi, wiener. Hi. Hi. You want to leave? I'm sorry. You want to just talk to me? Yeah. Good, good, good babies. Here, come here, come here. Sorry, guys. I gotta let my dogs out. One at a time. One at a time. I know, buddy. I let you open the door, though. Ah, oh, there we go. Sorry, guys, I had to fiddle my wiener. Dogs know too much. Dogs are a lot smarter than you fucking think. I swear to God, there's sometimes where, like, my dogs will, like, actually, like, have a master plan to, like, manipulate me sometimes. It'll be funny. It'll be, like, because my dogs, they were never pie trained when we first got them. We actually had to teach them that. So one of the ways that we did it was positive reinforcement. We gave them a treat every time they would, like, go to the bathroom. And that habit never quite exactly broke. So now, like, whenever they go to the bathroom, they get snacks. And sometimes I legitimately swear to God that they go to the bathroom, don't do anything, and they don't have to go. And then they just act like they did, and then they end up getting a snack. It's just like, no. It's like, I feel like I gotta watch them take a dump now. Because, like, I let them out and I'll stare at them and then they immediately, d they, they just turn around like this and they act like nothing happened. And they're like, okay, where's my snack? I was just like, you didn't do anything. <laughs> it's like, dogs are crafty sons of bitches, man. <sighs> okay, let, let's see where we could go. So I take a shit and you'll give me a biscuit. Sounds like a good life. No, yeah, we, we treat them very well. They're, they're uh, you, c you can see that we, we uh, do things like feed them pretty damn well with their chubby bellies. Yeah, I, I don't know what their life was like before because we got them in like five. And uh, we we have rumors uh, or lately we, we think that there is a possibility that they may have had crappy owners before us. So we're trying to be like extra nice to them. 
you know, we, we give them a lot of snacks and we love up on them. They're they're very loving dogs. They they are very fitting dogs. They they will find any chance or excuse to snuggle you until till they fall asleep. They're like, Can you hold me till I fall asleep, John? It's it's just like I love them very much. They love exercise, they love walks as much as they love uh food, they love playing. They're, they're just goofy dogs. Tina, the white one, uh, she is also a talker. And I swear to God, I will have full-on conversations with my dog. Like, Turner, not so much. Turner's a little bit more quiet. But Tina, oh my God, that dog can fucking talk. And she's like one of those talking dogs. But, like, I can't quite understand. I feel like I'm the human or the side character in a show that has a talking dog. And I don't know what the fuck they're saying, but they're talking. It, it, it's, it's like she'll be like, I want a snack, goddammit, I'm hungry. Or let me out, I gotta take a shit. And I'm just like, oh, yay, good dog. And she's like, no, I'm not the... F the whatever. So she'll, like... Have full-on conversations with me. It's funny. You guys are dealing me nothing but trash. Whining, draw four cards. I wasn't whining. I was trying to cheat. My mistake. I wasn't whining. I was trying to cheat. <laughs> The fuck? What the fuck is Ray playing? Sounds like a good life, yeah. By the way, school sucks ass. I'd rather eat my own shit with. Okay. If we could calm a little bit down on that, because keep in mind your chat's flying up on my screen, and like. The YouTube can see that, or at least the AI can see that. I don't need that shit on my screen. I hope you understand, man. But yeah, I get what you mean. Okay, this should hopefully be the last few tables. Yeah. I'm just taking your ammo and leaving. <laughs> he thinks I'm actually gonna help him with his med kit. Ha, huh? you fool. I'll say ball juice. Is that better? Yeah, a little bit better. <laughs> Yeah, like speak speak in the form of emojis, okay? Like let's let's do eggplants or cucumbers for dick and you know shit like that. Like I, I don't know if you want to like do that. Yeah, just say ball juice, I guess. Cause like I, I I'm not gonna go completely uncensored now that I'm monetized on YouTube, but I gotta be a little bit more on the careful side just because like. But before, like, it wasn't necessarily a big deal, but legitimately, now that I actually have the ability to end up getting monetized, I want to try to keep that that good standing with YouTube. Because they're looking at my channel with more seriousness than ever before. They were just kind of like, you know, do your own thing, but now, now money's involved. It's kind of like how you don't tell your boss to go fuck themselves. <laughs> So chat, do you think that we're honestly going to have a resolution with Lars and uh, Carlos? I'm hoping so. get this. Yeah, because we need to have all of our relationships mended by the time that we end up facing the Storm King. We need to be on a unified front. We need to be at this together. Because um, if, we're, if we're not on a team, we could easily get screwed. And plus also, I'm curious, guys, as well. Like, and Gogia, you can feel free to let me know about this in the comments. Like, what do you guys think of the story of this game? Like, but what would you rate it in your humble opinion? Like, I know that, you know, like, some of you guys play and some of you guys do not. For those of you guys that have watched, 
in general, what would you rate Fortnite Save the World's story? Like, the main story, of course. But, like, if you had to give it a rating, like, 1 being the worst and, like, 10 being the best, what would you rate this series? Not not necessarily, like, my walkthrough, per se, but just kind of, like, the game. Because in my humble opinion, I think the story has overall been really, really good. I've actually liked this a lot. Because it's very interesting when you're trying to pick a game to do a walkthrough on, because there is some stuff that's nice, but unless you have a... I guess you could say a, a certain type of audience, which luckily a lot of the time I'm blessed to have a lot of the time. There's just certain games that people prefer to want to watch, and I feel like this was definitely a good game to pick, because uh, not only is it Fortnite, but also just the story's fun. I'm looking forward to when we're playing Zelda again, because Zelda did really well on the channel, and now like we'll have the, the, uh, the channel be bigger than ever, and hopefully we'll get a lot of... Uh, new guys as well with, with Zelda as we did before. I also consider the fact there'll be a new game will also help. It'll be like a mainstream game for a while. Here's hoping. After Hyrule Warriors though, I'm curious what we'll be doing after that because uh, Hyrule Warriors looks mission based and not open world based like Breath of the Wild. So depending on how long it takes, like when I did the first walkthrough uh, video, that took on average for like two missions for like uh, two hours or like one hour per one mission. And if we play for anywhere from like three to four hours, that's roughly a couple missions. Which is what, kind of what we're doing here. So my my thing is I'm wondering how long Hyrule Wars will take to complete. Might be a little bit longer than Zelda. Uh, but it might be a little bit shorter than specifically... Um, the main story because we did DLC and that took us two months originally and we were doing it for less time in terms of how long we were streaming. Cause it'll be it'll be it's really been fun and I'm looking forward to playing some other games too. I think after uh, Hyrule Warriors just because um that that'll be two Zelda games and like they were almost back to back. I think I'm trying to think of other games that we would play. I mean hell even with the new next gen consoles now now more than ever we could be able to think of some other games. We could do like uh, Fable or Spider-Man Miles Morales. You know, there's a whole bunch of shit we can think of. I'm actually gonna call him an airstrike. Keep in mind, we also have done other uh, things too, like Outlast and Left 4 Dead. That was fun. I was actually thinking about doing a Markiplier-inspired video every, every now and again. Love, like, blank scary games or, like, uh, you know, three blah 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 games. Like, mini-series is almost would be, like, the equivalent. Like, a one-time playthrough of a game. That'd be kind of fun. I haven't been here at all because of school, so I have no idea what the fuck the story is. Oh, lad, I have a story to tell you. Uh, it'd be something I did at school. You're trying to replace me? I, I don't know what, what you got out of that. That's, that sounded like I was trying to replace you, but okay. Yeah, I'm totally trying to replace you. Yeah, Gogeta, we're going to replace you with your brother. He's going to end up uh, inheriting your account. He's just going to go under the name Gogeta better than uh, Gogeta. I'm joking with you. Yeah, no, I know, and I'm fucking with you. Yeah. <laughs> You know how they say, don't bullshit a bullshitter? Well, don't try to fuck with a fuckboy. I don't know why I'm doing that like I'm Italian. Just like, don't fuck with a fuckboy. You're the quagmire. Yeah, you are the quagmire of this chat. There's a TikTok about me with 100 and... Wait, 1,500 views? Oh, that's awesome, man. 
Yeah, some people don't necessarily do YouTube or Twitch. Sometimes people just get off on uh, Instagram or uh, uh, TikTok, it seems like, nowadays. It's funny, because you can actually, I believe, get monetization on those. So, uh, yeah, I mean, some people might just do TikToks or, uh, you know, uh, Instagram. I know you can get monetization on Twitter. I don't know how you necessarily do monetization on Twitter, but I need to figure that out eventually. Nicely done, Commander. You're welcome, Ray. Thank you. And that is the Atlas, boys. Now let's figure out what the fuck that Lars and Carlos are going to do to resolve this issue. <laughs> Just hoping they stop having their s stupid sibling rivalry. <laughs> For the land of the main lords. <laughs> All right, Ghostbuster. That is kind of like a really weird move, though, I'm not going to lie. I can send you the TikTok vid uh, onto you or the original vid. Wait, hold on. I didn't make it, but the lad had a video of me doing stupid shit, and so he uploaded TikTok. Yeah, if you want to send it to me in the Discord, I mean, I don't own TikTok. I never did. Uh, but yeah, you can send it to me. Good shit. We got the band back together. Hallelujah. Good, good on you, Carlos. I mean, we did save your life after all, so I mean, you kind of had to, but thanks. <laughs> Does Dennis need a therapist? I think he's off with drugs. No. Hey, good for us. I'm working on Carlos's bike, and it appears to be disappearing. Huh. Maybe the rift stabilization put an end to the reality hiccup. We're gonna lose our copies of Mad Science. Maybe not. Dennis, our Duke apples is gone, but do you remember what it tasted like? Um, not apples, but not not apples. <gasps> You're right. The cereal may be gone. But its memory lives on. Steel Wolves, grab your copies of Mad Science. It's time for a listening party. So we gotta remember it. Okay, so we gotta remember it before it disappears. So funnily enough that that does help us. Okay, good. So we just gotta remember it. So we gotta listen to this as soon as we can. So are we ready to rock? Uh, listen to Steel Wolves experiment while you still can. Explore old West music halls and 64 plus ghost town zones. We gotta do five of them. 